Hello everyone, this is Triton Book, and uh, you know, it's actually surprisingly been a little bit of time since I've been back to Taijim or even Fox. We did uh, some different types of videos last week. Let me know if you like that. Let me know if you want me to do more. I might alternate, uh, just throw some random ones in there whenever I feel like there's something to talk about. Anyway, so for this game, I think we're just going to try to play simple. There's two Dawn on Taijim. If I'm not careful, it's entirely possible that they could outplay me or do something that involves reading that uh, could destroy me. So sometimes I fall prey to that when I'm on stream. Uh, this doesn't happen in a video. Let's try to get a game. The game is started. All right, so we got a game. I am black. Let's see if he resigns or we get to play. Hopefully we get to play. Okay, it looks like we are playing. I'm going to do two four four points today. Or maybe I should do Sandrin say. Oh, he's going to do this one. Well, now I kind of just want to go in. So I'm going to go in here instead. I think it's really big to go into these areas first. I don't, uh, if I push here, it becomes a 4-4. Four, four. So I think I'm just going to push and keep it very, very simple. And keep this as a sort of 4-4 four, four Joseki. So now it's sort of like I played the 4-4, four, four, well, he played the 4-4, four, four, I came in at 3-3, three, three, and he played the old variation, which is okay to play. It's just slightly bad because there's a little bit of Aji here. So because he has this wall, I'm just going to, I, th I think I'm just going to split here because this is leading into this peeping move here, which he's letting me play. And it's making his wall just a little bit weak so I can pressure it a little bit while making some eye space for this side. Mm, honey in the corner, just uh, connect is fine. I don't need to play here. I can just push one more time to make sure I'm alive here. Uh, okay, I will connect. But I am already alive, and it's not Sente for him to turn. So now we can just make some shape. Like, let's just make some basic shape for this group here. Um, so let's just, let's make this dipper shape, right? A little dipper. <laughs> We have some basic eye shape and it should be fine. He's not able to really grow too much on this side, so this is perfectly acceptable for me. Normally, I would want to tanuki this. I think it's still bigger to come over to a different side here. So I'm just going to I'm just going to approach on the bottom here. When they do the slide, I like to tanuki. If he plays here, I'm really happy to take the side over here. So we'll just do the attach. This is the the basic modern Joseki here. Oh, okay. So I guess we take this and just capture. That's good enough. And then we want to pincer here because if we back off, he's able to prevent this from getting an extension. So to play the simplest way, we want to pincer. If we pincer close, he could jump out and try to fight and that would be fine because we have very strong shape here. This is very alive in one move. And so I'm fine with this. And so here, now we do want to respond because we want to now make the base in the corner. And now we have a very basic, <laughs> basic uh, setup on the board here. Um, there is now an invasion here. I'm extremely strong over here and extremely strong here. I don't really want him to get an approach over here. So I have two options. I could extend on this side or I could play over here. But if he takes here, I get to take the corner in a really nice big way. So I think I will do the invasion. This is potentially going to help me with my other group as well. Uh, huh. If we push and cut. He Atari's down and connects. We connect. He pushes over. It looks like we're not in a very good shape. If we Hane on the inside and he cuts, we push here. He extends. It looks a little difficult, right? So I'm just going to respond and jump out. It's fine if he connects up underneath. I was just preventing this from becoming territory. And something else that I've done here is I've actually gotten more strength on the bottom here. My group needs a little bit of eye shape and he needed to connect. So that's Hane here first. If he lets me capture that, I can live really easily. 
And I think we probably want to, hmm, I think we probably just want to jump here, build the bottom. If he jumps out here, we get to jump out again with our group and make it alive. Just make it very simple for us. He's probably alive with this group. We probably don't have a good way of attacking. We just need to focus on territory. So what's the best way to do that? I think we want to push up to prevent any Aji from happening over here. Oh, he's playing very solid here. Hmm. I think I want to attack him from the center then. And we can just turn here to get the territory. And just keep our stones nice and connected. So a couple points here, we get a couple points in the corner. He's trying to escape, but we get the first move on this side. Let's just push one more time, because if we can Hane over the top, that would be quite nice. I'd be quite happy with that. I think just hane right here is really good, because this cut is not actually that important anymore. So sometimes you want to do this Atari, so you can Atari and then go back and connect. And sometimes you want to do this one. Can he give up these two stones? You can kind of do that. So let's let's do the Atari first. If he really wanted to give up the stones and try to reduce with this side, he could have tried. So let's just do this. Then we can slowly sort of surround the other group. We get Tengen naturally. Very good. And Over yeah, he can live. Down, He's down already alive. Down. But now the other group needs to be alive. So let's poke at him. Mm, okay. We get to fix our shape nicely. He can make an eye if he wants to. But if he doesn't make an eye, he's going to have a really hard time. This is usually not a good idea. Uh, mm, yeah, it's usually not a good idea because now we've taken away his eye space here. And he has to just jump out some more, which means we are going to for sure get this as solid territory. Yeah, very sure, certain we have some solid territory there. Uh, I don't know the best way. If he peeps and comes out, it's a little bit annoying. So maybe we want to try to do something like the push. Just a better way to take the territory directly. Um, I'm connected up everywhere, so I wouldn't mind playing this jump to make sure this side is still strong. And we still have one more awkward shape point here, this elephant eye. So I'm going to play one more move to fix it. And so we've gotten quite a lot of territory here in a nice way. I'm just going to poke here to poke it as a little cutting point, because now it's a push in Atari. And now I can connect everything up whenever I want to. And I can turn here to prevent him from getting points here. So maybe that's a good idea. I can also take some big end game moves now. It's like coming over here is very big. And playing here is very big. So Nine, connecting up is probably not too eight, important. Seven, six, five, How many points can you make four, here? Three, hmm, not too much. Two, one. So let's just connect up these groups first. Make some points here. Let's we'll straight to end game now. And yes, you get the big end game over there. Very good. This one might have been bigger. Uh, this one. You can play whichever one you want to play. We're going to poke at his area here. Uh, okay. We're just going to squeeze. Hmm. So it wants to poke through here. All right. So he's going to cut these stones off and they probably just works for him. And if we do this one, I think there's nothing here for us because he can just attire from the other side, but let's try it out and squeeze at the very least. Mm, he's going to squeeze me. I was going to squeeze him. Let's do this one. So we prevent some of the points over here. 
And he can't really capture this stone very well because I can Atari and connect and bother his top side a bit. Hmm. I guess that's sort of a big move. I kind of want to Atari here. And can we wedge? This looks like a very likely possibility, but is it big enough to capture these and potentially give up this? Mm, it might not be big enough. So it might be good to connect first. Oh. This was a slightly bad shape for him. Because now I think we can just wedge. And take these stones in the center. So I did make a small mistake here with these three stones. But as long as you don't worry about it, just keep moving on. You should be good to go. So I captured at least these two. He can probably Atari and connect, and then I cut here. And I think there's not too much he can do over here because there's the Atari. This is just reading for that part, though. Oh, he's going to go from that side. Uh, so he wants to connect up to this group. But what if I just extend? This stone doesn't matter, so I can just connect and connect. Overtime countdown has begun. Mm, just block looks good. We don't need to try to be greedy and capture the stone unless he wants us to. I guess I don't mind capturing. He wanted to cut in Sente, I guess. Okay, so we have an eye here. Can we answer in a strong way? Just this bump, I guess, is good enough. So I need to cut through. So we just have to keep our stones connected. And we just have to stay connected here as best we can. Looks like we can just cut directly. The Atari here. The connection here. The Atari here, maybe? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Just do this one. Oh, he resigned. Okay. I think there was actually something there. He had to be a little bit more careful. That was actually a little bit more complicated than I wanted it to be. I did not read out the cut very well. And I probably could have played a little bit better here. So let's look at this situation and see how I could have played better. As I said, two dawn is where you start to have a little bit more of a problem with these sorts of reading uh, situations. All right, so I looked at this in a little bit of detail. It's actually quite complicated, but I do just barely have enough liberties to win. I think I have like two more liberties to win. Basically, after he extends this stone, because he can't let me capture the stone, that'd be a little bit too good. Uh, after he extends this stone, I got to go preview here. I can connect here. He has to not take a liberty because this these stones wouldn't have had enough liberties here. And so I have an I have this liberty here. And I'm able to just push and take the liberties from the outside. And he's not able to have enough liberties here to win the capture race. So it's very close, but it's way more dangerous than I wanted it to be. And we should probably look for how I could have simplified a little bit. Let me see. Let me see. We go back to the original here. Uh, let's let's rely on the score estimate, but not just my feeling. Let's see what the score estimate says before I cut this off. Am I winning, right? So estimate score, general analysis. I'm ahead by a little bit. So as long as I play end game, it should be fine. It looks like, uh, yeah, as long as I just play some basic end game, I should just be a little bit ahead. So I probably should still cut through this. This would have been a co if he didn't respond. Like, let's say he... Uh, uh, he defends this, then this would have been like a co shape here to capture some more stones and get a lot of points here. And if I get these points, then I'm definitely very far ahead. If I don't get these points, uh, then I might even be able to actually give this to him because just making sure there's no points here would be enough to win. I just need to protect and play big moves and stuff, and I should be fine. I can do this because this throw-in is not Sente. It is still alive. 
So we can play some really big end game on the top. We get something over here, which is really nice. And he still had this weakness in the center. So I'm very likely going to be ahead. Now it seems like I might want to try to play a little bit uh, differently against Tudon than I have him playing against the other players. So maybe maybe I will do that, or maybe I will continue to try to do this more. Uh, try, try to just play the simple moves. Even though it doesn't seem simple, I was playing more simple variations. Like the wedge is sort of a simple common issue when there's a lot of strength around. Before I say goodbye, though, I want to say a quick thank you to the people who are supporting me over on Patreon. I have at least one new name on here, and that is really cool. Over on Patreon, you can support me uh, if if that's all you really want to do, or you can do uh, some game reviews or lessons there. They don't I don't have too many slots open for lessons because I don't have a lot of time available to me, but I wanted to make as many available as possible. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are having a good day. Have fun.